Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I am excited for this video because it is going to be my BoxyCharm try-on for the month of March. So I do already know everything that is in the box for this month or in my personal box just because I already took a little sneaky peeky. I just cannot help myself. I'm like the child who looks for their toys um, or their gifts before Christmas. So I, I can't help it. I just love to look inside as soon as I get the box, but I, I can say that I'm very, very excited about this month's box. I feel like all the products look very promising and I'm excited to put them on my face. I am completely barefaced right now because we do have a skincare product to try on. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by going through the box, what the theme is, what it retails for, what brands are cruelty free. And then after all of that, we will do the try on. So here is this month's box, which is La Vie and Rose which is fun. It's like, you know, like kind of a monochromatic pinky box, which I kind of, I saw that and I ran with it. So I painted my nails, um, Mommy Martha from Kale Polish. I've got my little blushing, um, sweatshirt on. So we're going to be very pink today. Totally almost forgot to mention it, but I do want to say really quickly that I am sent this box each month as PR, um, for consideration of review. So starting off, ooh, we're going to leave that towards the end actually. Oh wait, I need my phone. I need my calculator. I can't do this in my head. Okay, so the first thing in the box is from Wander Beauty and this is the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. And it has, says it has a blend of skin loving, oh gosh, they're testing me with this word, Akai, <laughs> that's not right, Goji Berry, Blueberry, Lychee, Mango Mangustine, and Green Tea Leaf extracts. So it's supposed to purify, replenish dull skin, excess oil and impurities are drawn out and absorbed by the Kalon mask, minimizing the appearance of enlarged pores. This rose gold, ooh, it's rose gold, skin saving peel off mask dries quickly and peels off effortlessly, revealing a smoother, clearer and brighter complexion. So sorry that you had to struggle with me through reading that, but I thought that this seems interesting. They have, I feel like BoxyCharm has done like three different peel off masks already. I'm pretty sure since the time that I've started doing it, but that's okay. I'll still use it. This has a full two ounces, so I'm assuming that it is the full size product and it retails for a whopping $34, which is pretty crazy. So that's what I'm going to try first and see how it goes. All right. Good job, Amy. And Warner Beauty is cruelty free. So the next thing in the box I was pretty excited about, and this is two brushes from Moda Brushes, the Powder and Soft Glow Kit, which just looks like this. So I have only tried one of other brush from Moda, and it is their highlighting brush because I heard people raving about this one. This is it, Moda Royal and Lignicol. Wait, this is the same brand, right? They just have different. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. So I was definitely excited about this just because I am a lover of brushes, obviously. So I'm always excited to have more brushes and try more brushes. And this retails for $29.99. Let me just add that to my calculator. Um, these are synthetic bristles, so they are vegan. All right, so this is the powder brush and it does have a good weight to it. It feels nice. I really like the packaging and it is super, super soft. And then this is the soft glow brush which is also pretty soft. It's like a flimsy kind of highlighter brush. And this one does not have like barely any weight to it at all. Um, I actually do have something similar to this and I've used it for blush before. I'm not like the biggest fan of this kind of brush for highlighter, but I'm going to try and do like all my face using just these two brushes to really try them out today. Um, except maybe probably not nose highlight, but everything else I'm going to try and do with these two to give them a good test. Next we have Ofra's Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and this retails for $20 and Ofra is cruelty free. So this is the shade Monaco and I don't know if you can tell, but it does look to be metallic, which is not my personal preference, but I thought you know what? Hey, I'm, I'm just going to try it out and see how it goes and maybe I'll love it. I've never tried one of their metallic liquid lipsticks before. They actually sent me a sample of one that was like a little gold that I have not tried yet recently, but um, I'll, I'll try it out. I'll try it out. That's all I can say. I'll give it a chance. So um, I know a lot of people love this formula, so it's always nice to see it in the box. Okay, so next in the box is the Appeal Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow, which retails for $21, and it just looks like this. This does look really beautiful. It has sparkles in it, and it's like this really interesting rose gold shade. I actually compared this to all my other liquid shadows, and it was hard to find one exactly like this because it has a little bit more orange to it than most rose gold, so it is kind of a unique shade, and it does look beautiful in the bottle. So this is... 
I could not find that much about this brand. I could not find if they were cruelty free through Logical Harmony or anything like that. Um, so I'm not, I've never heard about them until now, but I did find their website and they do sell mink lashes, which for me personally, I feel like is not cruelty free. So I just decided I'm going to opt out of using this particular product today just because, um, I don't want to use it once and then never use it again. So instead I'm going to put it into a donate pile. However, when I do the look today, I am going to use the closest liquid shadow I could find in my collection. It's kind of like that same rose gold tone. It's not the exact color from what I can see from just looking in the bottle, but I'll just use this in case you do get this in your box, you know, like a look you could do with it. But like I said, just trying to be conscious about what I open. So next, the last thing in the box, which is probably what I'm the most excited about. This is the new Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. Okay, so let me pull it out and show you guys what it looks like. It is right here, and I am not that familiar with this face palette, but I heard that it's like brand new or something like that, like it just released. So it's exciting that it is in BoxyCharm, and it retails for $45, which is pretty crazy. So... It does look to be a little face palette and I do have the shade light medium which I was super excited about because I believe that it comes in two different color options and I believe on BoxyCharm if you are an actual like subscriber, member, whatever the name is, a, no, a Boxy, if you're a subscriber I believe that you can like do some type of profile and fill out some information about yourself now. They changed that but I didn't, I, I don't know, I think mine is just completely random. So whenever I opened this up I was like praying, I was like please, please the light one, please do the light one because you know I'm super super pale and I did get the light one. So here's what it looks like, super beautiful, has a ginormous mirror, I'm gonna take the, the sheet off. Maybe I'm not. All right, so here's what it looks like. There is a contour, um, two different highlighters, which look kind of more like, they look a little bit deep still. I'm not sure if those will work for me. But then there's a finishing powder and a brightener and a blush. So I figure today I'm gonna do like a super, super soft look and I will use this for my eyeshadow and my face. So I'm really, really excited to test this particular product out because I really, I think from Cover Effects, I have tried, I've tried their glitter like highlighter drops I got in a boxy charm a few months back, and I think that's all I've ever tried from Cover Effects. I'm pretty sure, so I'm excited to test this out. And let me grab my calculator. I said this was forty five dollars. This month's box is literally a hundred and fifty dollar value. That is absolutely crazy. Especially, like I said, this just launched, so if it's not sold out yet and you were hoping to get this, like, I would not pay full price for this. Mm -mm. So I'm really, really excited about, I, I'm saying I wouldn't pay full price for this because it's such a good deal, not because I think that the palette wouldn't ever be worth the price. We'll see if it is or not. Basically, let's just go ahead and jump on in and apply this face mask. Okay, so the directions say smooth on even layer all over face. Avoiding the eye area, wait 10 to 15 minutes for mask to completely dry and slowly peel off from the edges. It says you can also use it to spot treat or just do the T-zone area, but I think for the heck of it, for the thumbnail, I'm going to go ahead and put it all over my face. Oh my gosh. It's actually rose gold. Whoo. I mean, it's like super rose gold, but then obviously like you do this and it kind of shears out a little bit. Actually, this is bringing back memories. I did a video, oh my gosh, it was like in the very beginning of my channel, trying to be funny. Like it was like supposed to be like things that all beauty gurus do or something like that. And I mean, I still, I kind of think it's a little bit funny, a little bit corny, but um, I put, put highlighter all over my entire face and it was like this shade. If I can remember, um, I'll like leave like a picture on screen so you guys can laugh at how ridiculous I looked. I just want this book to be really glowy and very beautiful, so I'm going to pack on a ton of highlighter. I'm using this one from Ofra, and I'm just going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones. Perfect. I feel like I'm having to use a lot of product. Alright, so there is what the mask is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and give it like 15 minutes, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I added a robe because I got cold. 
surprise surprise I'm always cold um, I'm pretty sure it's ready to come off because normally whenever like I see if it's like ready I like kind of like move my mouth around and when it starts to peel I'm like okay I'll take it off now so um, I'm kind of feel like this is promising because it's a thin layer and yet it's still like I don't think it's gonna be annoying to take off like you know like some of the, the other masks that do this and it's like like it feels like you're dying when you take it off so this looks okay oh no Oh no, I kind of feel like I'm dying actually. I'm I'm going to cry. Got to stop trying these masks out. They never work for me. <laughs> okay, so I think I got everything off and overall my skin kind of hurts. I think you can tell like all the different red splotches. Um, I just, it doesn't really feel that much better. I mean, it doesn't feel oil or anything. It feels like, it feels fine, but it just, it's painful. So I'm not really a huge fan of the mask. So I'm going to go ahead and like do the base of my makeup, basically like primer, foundation, concealer, powder, um, and then brows. And I'll be right back to do all the other makeup items. Okay, so I figured before we go ahead and apply anything, anything from the Cover FX palette, I should swatch it just to see what everything looks like. So I'm gonna start off with the two highlighters. There's the two highlighters. They look really pretty, but you can tell when I kind of put them back this way that they have a little bit of a deeper undertone, so that probably won't work the best for highlighter on me. Then here is the contour and the blush. The contour shade looks really good. And here is the finishing powder and the brightener. There's the highlight and the finishing powder, which is kind of pretty much my, a little bit deeper than my skin tone, but kind of blends in. So I think this overall looks really, really pretty. For my eyes, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of contour through the crease, and then I'm going to highlight with the brighter shade. I'm just taking a really big fluffy brush. Like I said, I want this look to be super just soft and simple, so just doing something easy. I'm just going to take that light brown shade along the lower lash line and then just popping the brightener on my inner corner. Ooh, that's really pretty. And whatever's left over underneath the brow bone. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and put a rose gold glitter liquid shadow on the lid. Not really going to be super precise with it. Just going to apply a little bit of product. And then I think I'm just going to take my finger and blend it in. I think I literally just took it right back off. What the heck? Round two. I'm just adding a touch of the um, darker highlighter over the lid. I'm going to go ahead and dip into the contour. And I'm going to use the highlighting brush just because I'm kind of curious to see how this does. No, it's not blending out. Okay, I'm going to switch to the other brush. Oh yeah, there we go. So the contour is blending really easy and I definitely like the shade. Works really well for me. All right, now I'm going to go into a touch of the blush. Just adding a little, little flush to the cheeks. Although they're already a little bit flushed from the mask because that redness was still peeking through. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this shade as well for um, the face. And I'm just going to highlight with that a little bit and just like kind of use it as a blush topper. That's pretty. I feel like I didn't really love this for the other blush or for the bronzer, but to apply the blush topper, I think it looks nice. Or sorry, the highlighter as a blush topper. All right. Last but not least. Oh, wait, actually, there's two more steps here. Um, okay, here. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the finishing powder on my fluffy brush and I guess I'll just like throw this all over all 
All right, now last but not least for the highlighter palette, I'm gonna go ahead and take a touch of brightener and I am gonna use a different brush just because I want this to be in a very specific spot. And I'm just gonna put it like at the very highest point of my cheekbone right here. Kind of reminds me of Glazed Donut from Ofra. I feel like overall this did give a really pretty glowy complexion. I think I really like the way it looks. Um, definitely would have to keep playing with this to say if it was worth the like retail price. But for being in the box, definitely think it's really beautiful. And I appreciate like the like I think that this will work if you get the light medium really good for a light to a medium skin tone because if you're super fair like me you can use the brightener to add to the other highlighters and I think if you're leaning more towards medium these highlighters are going to be really beautiful the formula seems nice and creamy and like super glowy so I'm liking it actually I think I'm gonna go in with just kind of buff out this a little bit more so just to review as I go um the brushes they feel like they're good quality. I don't really necessarily love this kind of brush. Um, I don't feel like it does that much for me. I mean, maybe if you like this, you can tell me what you do with it. But the powder brush feels really, really nice. It blended really well. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I feel like the foundation I used is definitely darker than my body. I'll just do this. <laughs> All right, last but not least, going to go ahead and use the Ofra Monaco Liquid Lipstick. This was a mistake. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the finished look with this month's BoxyCharm, and I feel like I liked the look up until the lipstick. The lipstick definitely lost me. I try I tried it. I tried to to do the metallic lipstick, but I just it's not me. It just it doesn't feel right on me. I don't even know how to explain it, but um, I also feel like this whole vibe of this look kind of says like, hi, I'm a 15 year old, which I'm definitely not. So definitely let me know what you think of the finished look. I overall really liked this month's box. I would say the most exciting thing to me would definitely be the Cover FX palette. Out of everything, the face mask just really, really hurt and I just do not see myself using that again. The liquid lipstick, it's just, it's it's not my vibes. The brushes are good. They work, but definitely not like stand out brushes. And then they did have the really pretty liquid eyeshadow, which I did not use today just because of its cruelty-free status. But I mean, I think liquid eyeshadows are very, very hip and in. So if that's not something you really care about, then this could be a nice addition to the box. And I think that was everything in there. So, so I hope you all enjoyed the look. Definitely let me know what you think down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.